Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I just wanted to share with you my Helium Fora collection. It is a funny day out there. We actually had some rain last night so that was really good for us. Uh, it's been really dry and we we're supposed to get monsoon rains today but it actually is um, just turned out to be kind of windy and um, the sun keeps coming and going and there's really been no rain too much um, today. But anyways, in front of you here is my Helium Forest. I took them from my shelf over there. You can see the empty spot. I have two trays fulls. Helium Forest are a carnivorous plant and they come from Venezuela. They come from the tabletop mountains called Tempuis at an elevation of 2,000 plus meters or so. They do um, have a consistent um, environment. They're, they're in the tropical regions, so there's no seasons. It's always generally cool to mildly warm with lots of rain, cooling mist, fog, everything like that. Now, mine get a little bit warmer than they would if they were in the wild. My highs for them are about 30 Celsius, uh, just under 85 Fahrenheit in the daytimes in the summertime. And at nighttime, it gets down to about 55, 53 Fahrenheit or 13 Celsius. But I just wanted to bring a few of these guys out. Um, other things to note, they're not in direct sun this time of year, even though they love direct sun just because the sun is, is so hot. Um, so I'm keeping them a little bit shaded, which means their colors aren't quite as nice as they could be. They usually have lots of red highlights in, and they do have some, but not as much as I've seen in the past. Um, other things, being they're lower, they are a little bit cooler. So although I say it's 30 degrees in here, it actually, a couple feet down, is actually a little bit cooler than that as well. They're close to the fogger, so they get, anytime there's a lack of humidity, they're the first things to kind of get bathed in the fog and the cool mist. So they seem to be really doing well. And I'll just point out a few of my favorites here. In no particular order, of course. This is Puchella. It's a little one. It's doing very well, lots of growth points on it. Lots of adult pictures. When they're juvenile, they have these sort of funny pictures here that aren't, aren't the true sort of shape of the species. Um, it's hard to tell what a plant is from juvenile pictures. So I'm gonna skip those for the most part. Um, I'll show you this guy here. This is my, what's the tag, Perbescence. And it is actually getting its first adult picture in there in the mix of all the juvenile pictures, so that's kind of cool. This guy right here is a minor. And then over there is a heterodoxa. It's in a little bit bigger pot. Beside it is another minor. And this one, I'm not sure if it's totally minor or not. It's very large compared to the first minor I showed you. There comes the sun out. It's really bright in here right now. And it does have a flower stalk on. The flowers are there. Hasn't quite opened yet, but this one's about to open. And you can see how big the bud is on it. And then when I look at this one next to it, going back down, there is another miner. And you can see, although it's further away, it's significantly smaller than this one. And the actual bud is much smaller as well. So I don't know if that's um, a true miner or just a large version or what. I got them at the same time from the same place. But this one's nice here. It's one of my few crosses. I'll bring this out. This one is a heterodox across. Probably my biggest pictures, at least with the widest openings on them. So you can see the large nectar spoon on it. That is to attract insects and they come up and there's some sweet sort of nectar under there and then they fall down into the trap and there's downward pointing hairs that trap the insect and keep it from leaving. There's also water in the bottom of the pitcher as well. Here comes the fogger on for a second. I guess that's fitting timing. There's my hydro fogger. The humidity in here must have just dropped, so it's gonna get a little bit foggy. And we'll just continue to sort of film. I'll talk a little bit louder. This one here is another one that's nicely coming along. It just put out a few adult pictures. It is an expediculata. And what's interesting about this one is the nectar spoon is sort of embedded into the plant itself. It doesn't have its own sort of separate little spoon. Neblinae. 
probably my tallest um, Helium 4 at this point. Nice size pictures on it. They're probably 8 inches tall. Saracenoides is another different looking one. Its nectar um, spoon is sort of incorporated into its hood itself. And they have sort of a different look to them than the normal Helium 4s do. And the fogger has turned itself back off again. Um, him Intensus is in the back here. I'm just going to point to him. Him, and, him Intensus is there. Another one of my favorites. This guy is one of my newer ones. So he's not very big and not very colorful yet. This is Parva. Just got him. It's got a few pictures on it. Nice adult pictures coming. So that's nice. I'm really excited about the Parva one. It's bigger. It's going to be a beautiful plant. And Hubertii. I think I'm saying that right, Huberti. Anyways, another new one. It's got a few new pictures. You can see the new growth coming out there. And this picture is new for me here. But interesting, fun, carnivorous plant. Now, in my experience, they definitely, the biggest thing that I can say is they do take more heat than most people think. As I say, it gets to 30 degrees in here in the summertime and they're just fine. And they take nice cool temperatures. Um, I do try to overhead water them every second day. I try to mist them every day. The fogger comes on and helps me mist them as well. So it sort of takes care of the humidity in here. Outside we have very low humidity. I would never want to put these guys outside in direct sun or else they would cook. Um, in the winter they do stay in the greenhouse where it's nice and cool and humid and I put them under lights and then their colors really start to show through. The wonderful thing about lights is you get the bright intensity without any of the heat which you don't get in the summertime when there's no lights in here. So I'll probably do another update on these guys in the winter. I hope you like this video and if you want to see more videos like this make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always thanks for watching.